So, Star Wars sucks ass. Oh, it's always sucked ass. You know, don't pay any attention to, like, Darth Vader or any of the shit people like. Now instead we get a trilogy full of retardation. People are punishing said retardation in the theaters and in uh, Rotten Tomatoes, weirdly enough. I mean, obviously it's gonna make a billion dollars, but we didn't go see Star Wars. No, why would we? No, we decided to watch something that actually looked more interesting. Only had, like, one one-hundredth of the special effects, too. Yeah. It's a film by the name of Richard Jewell, directed by the great Clint Eastwood. And uh, I'll say it right now, it is the most boomer fucking movie you will ever see. Oh yeah. I mean, it is all boomer. Boomers conquer the world in this. Everyone is just grilling, drinking beers. So Richard Jewell is the story about the actual Richard Jewell, who was a guy in 1996, helped, I don't want to say stop, but... Helped mitigate a terrorist bomb. Yeah, he helped mitigate the damage that a terrorist bomb caused at the 1996 Olympics. He helped save a lot of fucking people, and no one can really ever take that away from him. No. No, he, he, he really did do a good job. Well, in the movie, the media and the FBI treat him as a suspect and go after him with the full assumption that he was a terrorist and try to fuck his life over complete. And it's a really fucked up and sad story because you see that this guy who was just doing his job, just wanted to do the right thing, got absolutely punished for it because no one wanted to have patience or think maybe for a second they were wrong. Yeah, it's not until maybe halfway through the movie where they start like applying just the most basic of logic and, they, and they're like, oh shit, he couldn't have done this. Yeah, he physically could not have done this. And and we want to recommend this movie because this hasn't really been getting a lot of love in theaters. No, there was us and then maybe three other people in the in the movie theater. Because everyone's going to see the new Star Wars movie, which everyone knows is bad. God save them. That new Cats movie, which is apparently so bad, it's ending careers. It literally, the reviews make it sound like a fucking Lovecraft horror. Yeah! So we want to offer something that is actually more entertaining and more interesting, at least until the really good shit comes out closer to Christmas. Yep. So what I think we can both agree on with this movie that is really good is a lot of the actors did their job pretty well. Oh yeah, they, I, they did amazing. I really like the guy that played Richard himself. I mean, that, that dude was... He sounded exactly like him, because there, there were points in the movie where they used clips of actual interviews with Richard Jewell, you know, as, as kind of a historical thing, like someone's watching a TV and it's playing the actual news interview with him in it. Yep. Yeah, I thought that was a nice touch, and you, you can hear the difference between the real Richard in the clip and the actor playing him, and personally, I think it sounded pretty spot on. I think the guy either got the voice really well, or they ADR'd his voice over the original audio, which I don't think they would do that just because they if they would even include the clip in the first place it'd be for authenticity's sake yeah i think he did a very very good job uh, in the lead role and i think his uh his mother and his lawyer are the other yeah. two standout roles yeah uh the guy who plays his lawyer he's been in a bunch of stuff he was in seven psychopaths really good actor i always forget his name but his mother is played by kathy bates and yeah personally i've always loved kathy bates as an actress she's just been a lot of shit i've really enjoyed I mean, she's just a really great actress if anyone's ever seen misery you know that she has good, serious talent under the hood. In 1871, women often died in childbirth. But her spirit is the important thing, and misery spirit is still alive. I don't want her spirit! I want her! And you murdered her! No, I didn't. Who did? No one. She, she died. She just slipped away. Slipped away? Slipped away? She didn't just slip away! You did it! 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 You murdered my mother! <laughs> Yeah, I don't always like her roles, but I have always liked her as an actress. That's yeah. great. Yeah, good, good shit. And really, I think what really propels this movie forward and gets people interested is the story. Because this, this, this entire movie is basically the media and the government are fucking idiots that will fuck your life over when you're just the unlucky son of a bitch that day. Which is very true and very, very relevant to these recent years. In fact, I, I think it's relatively clear that this is a pretty politically motivated movie. There's a lot of shit that shit talks the government in this. A lot of shit in the background where uh, I know the lawyer in his office had a poster where I, I think it was like a poster for Hunt for Red October, something like that. And the tagline on it that you kind of see is, I fear the government more than terrorism. Boy howdy, if that's not uh, on the nose. 
<laughs> Still, it is a good story. It's, a, it's definitely one people need to hear about. Because th this was a case of his life got fucked over for... We can't even say no reason, because if you were in the FBI's shoes, yeah, he, he would look guilty, but he wasn't guilty. But what I find interesting is apparently the um the office that this movie talks about, the I, I guess it was like the Atlanta Journal, this, this you know, little newspaper in Atlanta, apparently they are trying to sue Clint Eastwood for this movie <laughs> by saying it's slander, which, uh, no. Maybe they shouldn't have fucked up. Yeah, maybe they shouldn't have fucked up. And, and I will get into, obviously, I can't even say the accuracy of the movie because we don't know for sure. Yeah. This is just something we learned about with the movie. But basically, yes, things are going to be exaggerated and played up for drama because it's a fucking movie. It's, yeah. it's not going to pretend it's a one-to-one -one translation. And the, the chick that plays kind of the main journalist that really quote-unquote crack the story with Richard. She is such a two-dimensional bitch that it's either nowhere near how the woman acted in real life or it's exactly how the woman acted in real life. Because <laughs> I, I I get it where, hey, this is a movie, this is a story, it's an adaptation. You should have given her more depth, given her more of a context and reason to do what she did. However, we have both seen journalists in real life that are honestly just two-dimensional douchebags. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I mean, it's something where I can't even fault the movie if that's how she acted. Once again, we don't know. And for all we know, this was a case of they were so sure he did it that they weren't really thinking about the consequences of smearing a guy. But they still smeared a guy. You know, it, it's one of those things where it fucked up really, really something that should not have happened, but it still happens to this very day. You know, when you have cancel culture bullshit. I mean, yeah. you know, the, these are relevant messages to the film. So, personally, I liked it. Uh, I don't know if I'll see it like three or four times. Yeah, I liked it, but I, I don't I don't know if it's one of those like rewatch movies. Like maybe if you have someone that you think might really be into it, and you have yeah. like the chance to have them sit down and watch it, I think maybe I'd watch it with them. I think I think the only real way I can ever see myself rewatching it is I'm telling someone the story about Richard Jewell, and I mention that a movie exists. And so we both watch the movie. You know, that, that's how I see it happening. And in terms of Clint Eastwood's other movies, I think it's better than The Mule. Not to shit talk The Mule. I, I liked The Mule. I thought that was a pretty good one too. Yeah. But it's not as good as like Gran Torino. Because Gran Torino is still to me his best movie, period. You know, that's a fucking tearjerker. Yeah, I can, I can definitely see it. Yeah. So all around, it was good. Yeah, I thought it was. I thought it was really good. I definitely feel better about watching this movie than if we went to go see fucking Last Jedi or not Last Jedi, uh, Rise, Rise of Skywalker. Skywalker. It doesn't matter. They're all the same now. It's all a fucking carnival ride. At least this tried to bring attention to a legitimate miscarriage of justice. It's like, hey, this was a story that happened, and it's fucked up that it happened. It's like, I, I feel educated that I learned about this. Yep. Instead of giving fucking Jar Jar Abrams my money. Oh no. I want to stop talking about Star Wars. Please let me stop talking about Star Wars. No, if you forget about Star Wars, Disney will lose half of their IP. Right. Okay, so until next time, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. The shilling has begun. The shilling has begun. See you guys. Bye-bye.